So here is a problem which was sent by Mr. Zaheen and then it was also sent by Mr. Pranay from India. So in this problem we have a square and each side of the square is 1 cm and we have to find the radius of the smallest circle. So this is a square ABCD whose each side is 1 cm. That means the radius of this quarter circle is also 1 cm. And then we have one more circle over here which is tangent to this quarter circle and side AB and AC are tangent to that light blue color circle and then we have a more small circle over here which is tangent to both this circle and this orange quarter circle and we have to find the radius of this smallest green circle. So how to do that? So this is a very interesting problem which has lots of smart calculations. So I would suggest you to watch this video till the end. Before I start, I'm going to make few more lines over this drawing. So this drawing will look something like this. So here, as you can see, I have joined this point D with the centers O dash of the light blue circle and center O of the green circle and I have assumed the radius of the blue circle as r and the radius of the green circle as small r. So what can we say about this capital R? Since the radius are perpendicular to their tangents, this is actually a small square whose each side is equal to capital R. That means this distance will actually be root 2 times capital R. That means the diagonal AD which is actually equal to root 2 will be equal to 1 plus distance from this point to this point that is capital R plus distance from here till here that is root 2 times capital R or you can say capital R is equal to root 2 minus 1 divided by root 2 plus 1 and if I solve it further I have to multiply it with root 2 minus 1 divided by root 2 minus 1 and this will give you 3 minus 2 value of capital R is equal to 3 minus 2 root 2. And now if I talk about this right angle triangle O and if I call this point as P, O, P, D. This is also a right angle triangle where O, D is 1 plus small r and this much distance P, D is equal to 1 minus r. So 1 plus small r whole square is actually equal to 1 minus small r whole square plus o p whole square and o p is actually equal to 1 minus this distance which is equal to capital R minus this distance which I am representing as small d. So o p is actually equal to 1 minus capital R minus d whole square and what about this d? This d let me call this as this point as point p dash then if I draw the triangle p dash o dash and o this is right angle this is d and this much distance distance from p dash to o dash is actually equal to capital R minus small r so this is capital R minus small r and distance o o dash is actually equal to capital R plus small r so this distance is d and d square will actually be equal to capital R plus small r whole square minus capital R minus small r whole square or you can say d square will be equal to 4 times capital R small r. So let me note down this also over here d square is equal to 4 times capital R small r and here we are actually interested in only small r so let us bring this bracket over here so 1 plus small r whole square minus 1 minus small r whole square will actually be equal to square of this I'll keep 1 minus intact and then I'll square this so this will be 1 minus capital R whole square plus d square minus 2 times small d multiplied by 1 minus r and this will be equal to 4 times small r is equal to 1 minus r square plus d square minus 2 times d multiplied by 1 minus r. So if 
this d squared comes over here this becomes 4 r minus 4 times capital R small r is equal to 1 minus r whole square minus 2d multiplied by 1 minus r and here I can take 4 times small r common and again I'll have 1 minus r over here and this is equal to 1 minus r whole square minus 2 times d multiplied by 1 minus r. I'll divide both sides by 1 minus r and I'll get 4 times small r is equal to 1 minus r minus here we will get only 2d and the value of d is equal to square root of 4 times capital R small r so from here value of d can be written as 2 times square root of capital R small r so this will be 4 times square root of capital R small r and if I rearrange this this will become 4 times small r plus 4 times square root of capital R small r and I'll get only capital R over here so this will be plus r equal to 1 and this is nothing but 2 times square root of small r plus square root of capital R's whole square and this is equal to 1 that means you can say 2 times square root of small r plus square root of capital R is equal to 1 or you can say square root of small r is equal to 1 minus square root of capital R divided by 2 right so here if I substitute the value of capital R or this can be written as 1 minus square root of 3 minus 2 root 2 everything divided by 2 or you can say square root of R can be written as 1 minus whole square root of this 3 can be written as 2 plus 1 and 2 can be written as square of square root of 2 and this can be written as square of square root of 2 minus 1 and everything divided by 2 or you can say root r is equal to 1 minus 2 plus 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 2 minus root 2 divided by 2 or if you square both the sides you will get r is equal to square of 2 that is 4 plus 2 minus 2 2 is a 4 root 2 divided by 4 which is equal to 3 minus 2 root 2 divided by 2 so this is actually the radius of the smallest circle over here this was equal to 3 minus 2 root 2 divided by radius of the small circle over here. So it was an interesting problem. So thank you Mr. Pranay and Mr. Zaheen for sending this problem and for many more interesting problems keep watching Mass Math, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you'll get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.